yeah. I'm about to blow. I gotta stay on my hustle, you know that I'm grinding for sure. I came out right from the bottom, now they see me chasing my goals. Now they see me on the go, yeah. now they see me on the road. It's time to hustle, yeah, it's time to grow. I'ma shoot for the stars and we ain't for the gold. It's time to hustle, yeah, it's time to grow. What's up? Welcome back to the latest. Loss has just slipped away to get us Adi Pao after I quickly reminded him. Thank you to Adi Pao for sponsoring the latest. Uh, we've oh. both got God's Juice right now. I'm about to crack mine open. I had a light sparkling one about a week ago. Went down a treat. So good, too. Good for the brain, too, but you noticed it? <laughs> mm. <laughs> Fucking grouse. All right. Hey, guys. Thanks for tuning in. Welcome back to the latest for this week. I've uh, got a bit to get through. We've got a special guest coming on in a few minutes. Uh, we're just waiting for him to get back to Loss. Um, Javo69. We've all heard of him. <laughs> Loss, how, how – just just tell us, bro. How did you get this dude on? That's what I'm curious about. Like, how does one even fucking get a hold of him? Literally just, like, searched him on Instagram, G, Javo69. And then he had like an email in there for like a talent management or some shit. <laughs> so I just emailed the talent management guy and the guy gave me his number and I've been WhatsApping him, bro. So <laughs> once he's good to go, I'll just flip, fire him a call on WhatsApp. Um, we've got nothing written down on what we want to ask him. We'll just have a quick yarn to him about his fucking little stint with the APs. Um, other ones that he's done and maybe a sneak, sneaky little reveal on what's the next one to come. Well, I want to, um, I want to, just talk to him and see what he's about, eh? See what makes him tick. Because what? Right. Who, in their, who in their right mind even thinks of that idea? What I want to, <laughs> I want, I want to know how the fuck he got past security, G. Ah, uh, he's real cruisy, eh? We'll, we'll definitely talk to him about that. But like, he literally like he didn't like sprint on the field. He kind of just like jumped over the fence and jogged on past everyone. <laughs> <laughs> they need those South Auckland bodyguards over there, G. That's why he got through. All right, just before he jumps on, I will take you guys through a bit of a run sheet. We've got, um, obviously, Adipa, our sponsor, Lost. We'll, we'll touch on that now. Um, shout out to Adipa again for sponsoring. It's a... Uh, I like to explain it as God's juice, but when you're feeling low, when you're feeling down on energy, this is exactly what you want. Luke Trotter, right, brain drink for mental performance. That's not even a lie, bro. This isn't even false advertising. Nah, nah, it, and it's it actually like, the whole thing. World, like, world neuroscientifically proven, like, scientists have created this, and like, no kidding. And they've actually they had a proper food scientist, um, create uh, the so they could mask the taste of the bark tree bark in it because it's got tree bark in it, and that's like the got um, native New Zealand pine tree bark, if I'm not wrong, and it's got the stuff in it that makes you think better under pressure. Hey, be easy using it, bro. Guaranteed. And then I saw a few people put like um photos up of like the guys walking into the changing room and on their whiteboard it says Arepa on entry. Oh, so like the boys had to wow. get and smack yeah. enough bar for the game, half an hour before the game. So you're supposed to say like 20 minutes before what you're doing and it lasts about four hours. Um definitely makes you feel more productive. Jump yeah. on it. Caffeine free, no added sugar, antioxidant, best for the rig, best for the body. Use Hustlers 20 for 20% off and check out. Uh, we'll leave the link in the description below. Um, we'll take you through a bit of a run sheet. Um, just a quick catch up on what's been happening, how loss is fun in the office, obviously Java 69, uh, and a few, a little bit more into detail about how Kalani, Beb, and Devontae are going to look. We've got uh, a Facebook group now called Have a Lick Punting Group. Uh, we'll, we'll do a little bit of a review on the White Hustlers. Uh, we're not too happy with how that went and we'll tell you why. And also we posted a reel of a sneak peek for the summer drop as well. So we'll touch on that uh, towards the end. But um, before we get into it, Java 69 looking forward to jumping on. I'll just cut this bit out, bro. We'll cut this bit out if you want. Um, Which bit? This bit until we wait for... Holy oh. fuck, there's only 37 cows in the whole thing, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Sixty-nine. <laughs> Leave it in, bro. Hold up. Hey, bro, can you hear me? Can you hear me? Yeah, can you hear you? Can you hear me? Yeah, of course, you, buddy. How's it going? Yeah, I'm all good, man. I'm all good. Where, where about to you at the moment? Uh, just, just left the gym. Oh, I need, to, I need to get, I need to get fit for the new season. 
the New Zealand next year. <laughs> Man, I've got I've got um I've got my co-host on here as well. His name's Sharan. Yeah. Hey, Sharan. How are you going, brother? Yeah, I'm good, man. Good, good. Mate, we're in we're in awe of your work. Um, we love we loved what you did for against when the ABs played over there. Um, what was going through your head, mate? <laughs> How'd you get on the field? Well, the thing was, yeah, it looked so hard when I done it. We got there. And they come out in like a different training. They come out in their training kit. And I was like, please don't tell me she's one of their new kits. <laughs> uh, they, they come off the pitch, come back on with their, like, their, their all black kit. And I was like, oh, that's all right now. And there were stewards at the bottom of the stairs, so I couldn't jump on. Uh, and then one of them moved it. I was like, listen, I've got to go now. Went down now. I thought, you know what? If I sprint out on the pitch, it causes attention. So I'm going to just go down there slowly and act like I'm meant to be there. Just step over the one, one fence, step over the next fence. And jumped to the middle. No one see me. No one see me. Got there. And I was like, am I going to get a hacker? Am I going to do the hacker? And then some woman spotted me. And then, uh, yeah, that was it. <laughs> Bro, you, you stood next to um, Tyrell, Tyrell Lomax. Tyrell Lomax. Um, yeah. Did he say anything to you? Um, did he say anything to you? No, man. It was, like, it was like, it was weird. I got there. The first one spotted me. Then the second one spotted me. And the third one looked at me, one third looked at me, it's like a domino effect. They're all looking like one after each other. <laughs> <laughs> you can see on their face, like, they're all, they're all serious. And then they're like, who's he? <laughs> <laughs> it's not your first time doing this, eh? You've, you've done it a few times before. <laughs> you've done it a few times before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've done uh, Olympic diving, uh, the cricket, a football match. Uh, Olympic soccer match. I've done a... Oh, man, that's the best one. You've got to look that one up. If you're in front of the computer, look it up now. Yeah. Olympic diving? What, you jumped up on the board? You jumped up on the board? Yeah. You are kidding me. It's the most... 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 It's Hey, mate, you're on the latest, which is a, uh, a podcast segment of uh, Carlos's clothing brand. Uh, we just want to welcome you to the latest. Yeah. First of all, even with a 69 on your back, you didn't look out of place, brother. Thank you, man. Even, even, even with my big car. Nah, the rig was looking in shape, brother. Uh, you're looking good. You look like you're ready to pack down. Yeah, that's because that, that's um, it was all black. When, when you see me in a white kit and it shows you like the true big, you're like, whoa. <laughs> That's just why we go to the gym. I'm like, jeez, I'm that big. <laughs> right, so so everyone's kind of seen the All Blacks version um, and we, we obviously give a lot of respect to people who go out on cameos. But as you've just stated, a, you're not a first-time radio. It's not your first It's not your first radio, is it? Talk us through the week after the Japanese game. What was going, what was going through your mind? Were you 10 times more confident? What? Um, that time I was here, they just didn't seem on it, man. And the thing was, it, we got in there really late and we was rushing, we got down to the front and he said, don't jump over, like the man from Manchester said, don't jump over that ball, just run out to where they've got to run from and then go on that way. I was like, all right, jump over, run down. No one battered an, uh, battered an eyelid. If you just jog out, no one... And then they didn't notice me again. And that time I was on there for even longer. <laughs> um, I don't know the um, Robert one uh, to me. I didn't say something, something other. Though. Do you get in much trouble after these? Oh, you there, mate? Oh, I've lost you now. Oh, what the? <laughs> Can you hear us, Java? Hello, hello. Yeah, buddy, we're here. Yeah, buddy, we're here. Yeah, sorry, can you still hear me? Yeah, yeah, yeah got you. Just. Yeah, sorry, sorry. We cut out because I've got a people pestering me on Facebook. I put myself on um, Do Not Disturb. <laughs> oh, no. You're all right. Hey, I was just asking, Um, do you get in much trouble after you do these? Uh, not, not the rugby ones. I don't just got kicked out, and that was it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Whiteland one, um, the face is there, but oh, 
actually. So, yeah, you're going to have to leave him. Sorry about that. And he was fine about it. Did you catch up with any of the boys? Because I saw that Brad Weber chucked a, a wee tweet up saying he wanted to catch up and have a beer with you. Yeah. Yeah. So then, what's it called? Then afterwards, he's like, oh, I'm fucking like that. Not like that bubble thing. You're not allowed to go out and stuff like that. Oh, yeah. 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 Um, yeah. So, next time, hopefully, I'll come over to New Zealand and do it. Yeah. <laughs> fucking A. Hey, do that, bro. Hey, give us a little <laughs> inside <laughs> inside scoop. Where, um, What's your next one going to be? Um, I've got a few up my sleeve. I can't tell you. I'd love to tell you, but I can't because their security, they've got their security. But Give us a hint. Give yeah, us a hint. There's a few, there's a few years. <laughs> you, you, got a, you got a bit of a hint, a sport or anything? I can't even do that, man. Because All right. No, nah, I want to see it anyway. Hard. Fair enough. But I'll come back on after I've done, I've done, done another one, though. <laughs> yeah, sounds good. Hey, we'll, we'll keep in touch on WhatsApp. I'll send you over some kit. We're a clothing brand, bro, so um, we'll get you some kit to wear yeah. out on one of them. <laughs> yeah, great. great. All right, bro. Take care. Thanks for jumping on. Cheers, brother. Thank you, bro. Take care, boys. See you, man. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, bro, he's cooked. <laughs> bro, he, he sounds like a good lad, eh? He sounds yeah. like he's he sounds like that mate who it don't matter what day of the week it is or what time of the day, he'd always meet you at the local pisser, eh? Yeah, bro. Hundred. He lives for it, eh? He lives with yeah. the lads in a pub. All right, let's let's run into it, brother. All right. <clears throat> What's been happening, Brad? Uh not much, G. Just um finishing up the final touches of this this place. We got that neon sign up now. Looking at it behind the thing, it's fucking wicked. Um, we are today and tomorrow buying up the rest of the equipment for the podcast studio, bro. So we're dropping a bit of coin, but we're gonna be we're gonna have a three camera setup. Um, we're gonna have a switcher, a live switcher, and a command station, so like a little monitor where um someone can sit and change live, change cameras. Um, so we're gonna have it all the whole proper setup, bro. Um, and then I'm gonna start investing into some more equipment like uh like wireless um shirt mics and stuff like that so for the vlogs and stuff um for certain segments that the boys are doing and we'll touch on that um being able to have like a little shirt mic there that's attached to the camera so it's got good quality um audio um so like if the boys are doing a workout and they're doing a segment while they're doing a workout um you can hear them talking and breathing and shit like that so yeah no, um, that's yeah. the last bar uh Clarny and Devonte, we're getting their own podcast why is that um, Kalani's not starting a podcast yet. Devonte is, but Kalani will at some point. Um, Devonte is going to be starting one. Uh, he's already started the Facebook page. We've started the Facebook page for him. It's called Have a Lick. Um, if you've seen that, if you haven't, um, and you're into, into your punting, um, not just horse racing, but all sports, um, jump on that for a good yarn. It's popping off, um, eh? Hey. I only checked it last night. There's, in like 24 hours, there's like 240 people on the whole group. Yeah. Holy fuck. Well, he's almost at 300 and it's like yeah, not even 48 hours so um there's a lot of people that have jumped into it and i think it's just going to pop off more and more and more once we get properly into it like um how it's going to work is basically i want him to build this cool community and i want that to be obviously it's going to be all under 138 so his his podcast linked to it have a look podcast is going to be on 138 tv on youtube um and like when it comes to it and, the, and it comes to time to support the boys um he just chucks a post up in there and goes all right lads like if you want this to keep running like um make sure you go along like one three eight are dropping clothes tonight um support the lads um we'll make merch have a look merch um the fucking possibilities are endless bro you can start s- selling subscriptions if his tips go real well all that sort of shit for like exclusive members um that's that's the whole point of it is to build a community within a community grow that out and bring them towards us so we run events and shit he's gonna he's gonna come to me and go bro i want to um hire out the Tottinger racing club um box um and i want to get you know 30 of the punters to come along and and i'll go yep sweet and we'll cover it and then he'll go and run that and we'll get fucking the camera to follow him and we'll get it all on camera um bib's the other one that's going to be starting a podcast so he's just finalized his name with me last night I won't drop that yet and um, we're doing a podcast with him today so we'll drop it then um, but his is going to be more about 
the loving and experience of fishing and outdoors and hunting and living off the land and um, all that sort of stuff. So mm. uh, he's looking at some pretty cool guests first up. I think he's going to have a yarn to pity, pretty rip you up first. So um, that'll be a good start. Um, and then Kalani's going to run a segment, like a YouTube segment. Um, I told you about that. Yeah. You want to, do you want to explain that? Yeah. It's pretty much just how he, um, how he's going to be doing workouts with people from all different kind of types of environment. So like a footy player, um, so is it the footy player gets into a workout or the footy like yeah. the footy player gets into a workout? Yeah, so pretty much anyone yeah. who just wants to um, get nans to work out, then they can hockey, um, baseball, could be like a triathlete, whatever. Um, and we're going to call it hit the tin. So it's going to be like essentially we want to try and build like this health and well being space around one thread as well. Um, and that's kind of that's going to be a nans job. It's going to be a YouTube channel. Um, there's going to be a lot of content coming out about it. So in terms of bro, like uh, content planning and like dropping YouTube videos and stuff, I feel like once we get like a good enough um, like background and people supporting us and stuff, I always feel like like when I watch uh, YouTube videos of, I don't know, whoever that I like to sub- subscribe to, I'm always waiting for the next video. Like, like it's a good suspense, but I also feel like it's a little bit too long like to keep you in the loop. Maybe like yep. dropping a video like every two or three days, like – for example, the latest could drop on a Monday morning. On the Wednesday afternoon, we drop Hit the Tin. And on Friday, we drop uh, Bibs Hunting and Fishing Show. So, like, yeah. <clears throat> like, they're not waiting too long to get content. Um, and that keeps people busy as well. So, I don't know. I think it would be good for us to um, kind of nut out a plan as to when things are going to drop and stuff like that. Obviously, like, logistically wise, if people are coming into the studio, it's, we have to work around them as to when we can drop it as well. But what are your thoughts on that? Yeah, so ideally I want it to get to the point where we've got a bunch of shows going on. Um, so, for example, we'll have um, me and Devonte were talking about it last night. Oh, we were all talking about it on that chat um, about yeah. running something like a, um, a funny talk show where it's, it's about him and he gets one of us on or whether it be him and Kalani or him and you or him and me, um, him and Beb, doesn't matter. And they sit down and they do it every week and we do like a – hashtag on Twitter where people can ask him um, questions like love advice and he can just fucking answer it and take the piss. And like we call it, we call him the gyno Um, little inside scoop on that is because uh, we had like a social for a rugby team um, this year at the start of the year. And we had to come dressed up as something and he came dressed up as a doctor, but he called himself the gyno, the gynecologist. If you don't know who that is, (laughs) it's like a, (laughs) it's like a female, um, a vagina doctor pretty much so uh, <laughs> I know and so we ever since then his name's been the guy on my phone and so like like imagine if it was called like ask the guy know and you go hashtag ask the guy you go oh you know my missus um m- my missus doesn't want to have sex with me anymore um hashtag ask the guy know what do yeah. i do or something bro that's like that um, um can you remember that that texting thing that went around probably like four or five years ago and it was like you'd, you'd send in your name and then they'd come back with like everything about you or like your deepest secrets and shit. Can you remember that? Oh, yes, bro. Yes. Yeah, bro. What was that called? Oh, I can't remember. I'm trying to think of it. If you know the name, let us know. Cause um, it could be something like that as well. Like subscribe to yeah. like, a, like a text message thing. Um, a lot of boys coming in under the one, three at umbrella. Now it's lonely at the top. So you got to have your mates there too as well. So um, that's something that we're really looking forward to. If you want to join, have a look Facebook group. Just let us know. Either search it up on Facebook or just send the boys a DM, and we'll um we'll get through them. Uh, we've talked on content creation, and Nans is going to be a big part of that. Obviously, we've got Geordie. Let's talk about Geordie's um. Let's talk about his role and what it's going to look like in the next couple of months. So we're going to start him, I think, in January because he goes home in, in December, mid December. Um, he you might do ringing? it. Hold on, is your phone ringing? Yeah. Did you hear that? Yeah, G. Shit. Sure. Yeah. Um, so um, he's he's doing that video for us now. That that five minute video that we're gonna play at the party, um, that like build up to a release. Um, but then in January he's gonna start. Um, we're gonna see how it goes, but we want to do him every month. Um, we pay him per month, and he comes in and he follows us around. Um, and he gets a, like a ten minute vlog on us every month. Um, and if that goes well, then we'll push it to two a month. So once every two weeks or something. 
Um, that's the goal. And that's just going to be like another segment on 138 TV to show people behind the scenes of 138 and what we get up to and what the office is like and us having shit chat and all that sort of stuff. So, yeah, I definitely want someone full time, but at the moment it's just not feasible in terms of like pricing. And obviously he's got other shit on the side as well. So, um, yeah, we're looking at about one to two vlogs a month, all going well. Hopefully, hopefully like once every two weeks. Hey, so that's the goal at yeah. this stage. Uh, we're definitely moving forward in the right direction in terms of vlogging. I think there's, um, I think we need to up our vlog game. And you've touched on it before, bro. I think we need to smash TikTok a lot more. Um, I've never used TikTok before, but it's so underrated, man. A hundred percent. There's some people smashing it. Um, my 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 sister's partner, um, but he's got like 130k followers on TikTok, and um, he's starting to look at like potentially starting like a little um clothing brand now. I was like, bro, do it. Use it while you have that. Yeah. You know, you have that power. That's the thing, bro. I'll ask you a question. If you started one three eight three years after you finished playing minor ten in Super Rugby, you think it would have hit off as well as it did? I'm not sure. Nah. Uh, do you think some of your following and whoever fucks with 138 is off the back of your footy career and the, like, the status and, and the platform you built for yourself? Yeah, hundred. Yeah, sorry, 100%. Yeah. 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 I, 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 yeah. Massively. That's what I mean, man. Like, if you have a platform, use it while you can. Like, yeah. don't wait for your footy career or whatever sport you're in to um, – to finish and think oh maybe i might do this and then it takes you two years to get it up and running and then you're two years behind the uh behind the april um yeah so i think like vlogging would be cool a couple of little reels every now and again i think reels pop off on the gram as well we could just transfer them to the tiktok might be a good idea um white hustlers to restock let's store a review on that uh what are your thoughts on it yeah, I wasn't too happy with it, um, but at the same time, I've talked about it before that I know the feeling when I've, uh, you know, when when a drop week's gone well and when we've done well with it, and I feel like that that week's going to be good. Um, and then when it doesn't go well, I can also feel that I felt like a, that last week. Um, outside factors that sort of um, affecting me off the field, so to speak. So like I, I sort of I sort of had a few things going on um away from the business so um i think that definitely affected me personally um i think that timing wasn't right with that where um you were also hard out um back to back to like on the field day eh? like you were back out properly and you couldn't actually do much for us last week which yeah. um you know you feel that because if i can't you know usually when i drop off like you pick up that load and like we kind of bounce each other out like that yeah. that didn't happen last week because I, we didn't like you know you weren't you had to you had your full time role going going on and I had other shit going on too. So um it's all learning, bro. I think um I definitely think with the amount of work we did last week, we should have done better than what we did in terms of sales. Um yeah. but that's just the game, bro. That shit happens. Like you can do the bit we could have a hissing week and I could be like, fuck, we had a mean week this week and we could sell nothing. And it just happens like that. You just gotta keep rolling with it. Yeah. I think the biggest learning for me was that if you and I outside of 138 aren't 100, then one, like this isn't going to be 100 either. You know what I mean? Like if if nothing's going right or if you're in a bit of a rut for whatever reason outside of 138, then you're not going to put your – you're not going to put 100% into 138 for making it better. So um, even moving forward, like if we, if we plan a drop day, it could be on my days off or I might – take leave or it could be when I work a day shift then I've got the nights off so um yeah I agree man I think I think we could have done better um but then again man grateful for those who supported there's still a few left in stock not many to be fair um but I think a key thing for us to remember is that we we still want to keep moving forward we want to be selling out um and I think it is a good review as to as to where we are as a brand um, and I think it's important for us to be transparent with, with the followers and stuff like that as well. So overall, we're not too happy, but obviously grateful for everyone who's who's dipped in on that, bro. I got a few messages, and I know you did too, about people who didn't get the emails for the password. You know what's going on there? Yeah, that's that Shopify email, bro. So and that's why I've been trying to move to Mailchimp, um, and also why I sit there and on the phone ready to go. So. A lot, like you'll, you'll get a couple that'll say, I didn't get the text. Sometimes they might not even be on the email list and they're just saying that. I don't know, but um, they go, I don't get it. And I just message it to them so they know. 
like yeah because i'm still trying to work that out on the back end but um yeah it's just learning bro and i think uh once we get across to mailchimp and we and we nail that down properly our email our suss out our email thing then i think we'll be good yeah um, because remember that story that I told you about that dude who messaged me and was like, "If I don't cop this drop, your house is getting robbed." Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well, he um he signed up to be a VIP member. I put him on it, and then he signed up, and then he messaged me at like quarter to or like what have been five five forty six, like a minute after it should have gone out. And he goes, "Bro, I didn't get an email," but I got the email, and I, I was lucky that I wasn't tied up at work, so I pulled out my personal phone and I sent it through to him. And I was like, "Yo," and he copped one, bro. He got one. <laughs> Fucking bro, so lucky that I wasn't tied up at work because yeah, that's I mean and anywhere I've done anything. So on, on what you were saying before, like actually grateful for the people that did pull through and, and support us because um, you know, like that fucking sounded completely ungrateful from what I said about um not happy with how the drop goes went. Um, but I forgot to mention that we are so grateful for the people that did pull through and, and the people that continue to pull through, especially return customers, man. Like people that come back and back and back and spend money with us like fuck it just keeps us going and keeps us alive yeah even on that though bro like i think it's important to have standards and if you don't quite reach them or expectations as to where we want to be and if we don't hit them then we've got to be honest with ourselves uh, because that's the only way we grow so i think that's really important too there's two sides to every story man um next i want to touch on is we've got two tickets from putty we touched on it a few weeks ago on the latest how are we going to uh send those out moving forward so we're gonna have we'll um what we'll do is we'll drop it next week on the latest. I think we'll um we'll definitely do a, a, a few calls next week. That's what I'm planning. You, you run it through what what you think we should do with it. Um, essentially, if if you haven't heard already, uh, one of our long time followers he spent like over two grand of worth of clothes with us. Uh, he he had up loss and he was like, bro, can he lives in Perth, so we can't make it. We we're going to buy his flights home for it. But he said, I can't get an MIQ spot, but I'm going to buy two tickets and you guys do whatever you want with it. Do like a scavenger hunt or a treasure hunt or give it away somehow. And we come up with an idea to put all names in a hat. Uh, we'll, what we'll do is we'll put up a post on the gram. Um, you, there'll be two conditions, or it might be three. One, you have to be able to make the party, Saturday 18th of December at 6 p.m. Uh, number two, you have to be able to answer a call next week sometime. Uh, when we post the latest or when we record the latest. So essentially what we're going to do is we're going to draw, we're going to put all the names in the hat, everyone who comments on the post, and then on the latest we'll draw the names out of a hat and we'll call you. Um, if you don't pick up, that's ratchet. <laughs> that's ratchet. we just move on to the next one. So um, two free tickets worth 60 bucks each. Come and party with us. It's going to be one hell of a doozy ride. So I'll probably start sussing that post over the next couple of days. And then next week when we record the latest, that'll be all be ready to go. So we'll record the phone call, the reaction, um, and hopefully Jordy can get a little bit of a snippet in there as well. I think it'll be cool. Yeah, go on. Sounds good. Um, and last topic, we posted a reel. Well, sorry, you posted a reel of a sneak peek for summer of the drop. Um, a few gems in there. Excited? Yeah. What does that look like? noticed, bro, um, when I said sneak peek. But, yeah, there's a couple – could see a couple of the garments that are going to be in our summer collection in that reel so um if you're listening to this now you can go back and have a quick look at it but um bro, there's, yeah, there's heaps coming through it's it's definitely our biggest order by far um bro we're going close to close to a thousand pieces in the summer so um Jeez. that's that's double double what we've ever done in one collection so um i'm excited bro hopefully it goes well um and i think it, the timing's right with the the collection that we're doing, the size of it, and also all the boys coming on board at the moment and the and the sort of, what do you call it, content that we're dropping, um, I think it's going to marry up nicely. And if we get both things right, I think it's going to take off this summer for us. I think that's just going to reflect the amount of content that we're going to have to put out and the amount of reach that we have to do. And, like, we've got just under 10,500 followers on the gram now. So, and and if you think about it, bro, the White House is to restock. Like, there was an extra 50 pieces there, but they'd already been... There's already like 50 or 60 pieces out there. Do you know what I mean? So people who normally would have copped already had one. So there was no need for them to cop. So um, if we look at it like that, man, there's a lot of growth there to be to be done. So, man, I'm really excited. Um, you've got a meeting with Timo soon. So that's pretty much all we've got time for at the latest. Uh, if you want some arepa, go to your local. Oh, I found mine at Countdown. I'm still waiting for my box. But if you want to buy it online, use the code HUSTLERS20. Um, that'll get you 20% off at the checkout. Also, we're still running the black track short. 
half 20% off as well. If you're still keen on some shorts for summer, go and smack it. Use code the latest, all caps, no spaces in the checkout, and that'll get you 20% off. Uh, Loss, thanks for your time. Looking forward to actually chopping up, chopping up the latest in the in the office. Um, probably just under four weeks, actually, because our auntie let the borders open on literally the day before I go on days off to come down to the mount. So <coughs> yeah, right, it's going to be some day. mysterious ways, bro. I'm so keen, so excited. Uh, and I'm excited for all the Auckland boys and Auckland girls to get a border ticket to the party to come down and party with us. So grateful for that as well. Andrew, it's going to be a hissing, um, hissing potty bro, because we're going to have this full proper setup done. So um, we'll have that three camp set up. We'll have the, um, we have Bear Ball, one of the boys on that, on that monitor control station, chopping it up for us. Um, yeah. I'm excited. Even, even like, even if we don't do the latest the week before that as well. So we've got two weeks worth of content. It's like an hour episode. <laughs> we could even do that, bro. Just depending on how our views are going and shit. I reckon it's going to go for an hour anyway if we're catching up in person. Yeah, 100. <laughs> All right, Brady, any last words? Nah, thanks for your time, Beat. Appreciate it. Uh I'm about to blow. I got to stay on my hustle. You know that I'm grinding for sure. I came out right from the bottom. Now they see me chasing my goals. Now they see me on the go. Yeah. Now they see me on the road. It's time to hustle, yeah, it's time to grow. I'ma shoot for the stars and we ain't for the gold. It's time to hustle, yeah, it's time to grow.